Aí. Aí. This is very rare to see him getting up like this. This makes me very happy. Yeah. Good boy. I like to see him following his smells, using his sense of smell. That's how, that's the most appealing thing. It's a big old piece. Ziggy doesn't get up and around as much as he should. That's nice. This is a rare occurrence. He has a hard time getting around. So he sent them along with that notebook right there. So look through that. Just read back a couple of pages. Yeah, the binder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can get some idea of what everybody is writing up, you know. Anybody can write up anything on any of the dogs that you see, you know. Just whatever you see that. When they draw the line through it, somebody look at it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's some dogs, okay. Right. So you'll have, you know, you'll have worms and then you'll have just maybe overstimulated in the kennel, should he have traz or not. Now you can kind of answer a couple of these things yourself. There's a thing in an application directly a web page that you can bring up in your web browser on your phone. And that's what I was just looking at in there a few minutes ago when I noticed I was thinking about the wrong dog. <laughs> but anyways.
yeah, you can look at that and you can read the medical notes. And so you can figure out whether the dog is supposed to be on Traz or not, or whether it expired. You know. So you can begin to kind of read through some of those and get a get a flavor of what get a flavor of what the reports kind of look like. You know. You'll have worms, you'll have diarrhea, you'll have bloody tails, you'll have like torn nails, you know, where they torn one of their, their toenails somehow. Um, uh, limping, you know, excessive limping. Could be due to anything, could be injury, could be valley fever, could be cancer, you know, so that, we, we don't know, you know, and so. But you see something that you think needs to be written up, or you write it up. And, you know, yeah. So that's the symptom one. So, yeah. Uh -huh. It's pretty straightforward that you number of the dog and the name of the dog and where you where the sucker is. <laughs> Your name and, uh, and away you go. So, so, what do I got here? So, the walking board. Let's see. Went through that D and W do not walk. KB is chemical. XKB is extra chemical. So those are kind of your first priorities. You'll see the abbreviation BB on there means bathroom. So that's shorter than the walks that we did tonight. It's basically, you might take a dog right out of that kennel right there and take him off the gravel right here on the other side of this wall, 50 feet away. You know, and just go and do something like that. That's a dog that's usually got like a medical thing or something. Okay, so, they so they, they're not going for us. Mm -hmm. It could be, could be age, it could be injury, it could be both, you know. So, you know, those things, are, they're, they're fairly obvious. Mm -hmm. BB, BB dogs are not, you, you can tell they're not going to go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, It'll say APS on the board. That means Animal Protection Services. That's the dog that's on the APS hold. So you're not walking those. But for the ones that some of us are going to check out, we're going to throw into your yard. But we're not taking them outside the fence. They don't go into your yard. Oh, in the morning. That was the thing. There's, there's two more things. Two more wonky little things. There's little magnets in there, and they say PG on it. So PG is playgroup. So what happens is, yeah, 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 those guys are going to go to go to playgroup. So behavior team has gone through all the dogs, and they've picked out some that seem to play with to mm -hmm. into a playgroup, which is like a mini dog park. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so they'll, early in the morning, they'll put these PG magnets up. And so we don't take those dogs out for a walk. We'll skip those dogs. Okay. We'll have a group of people called runners. So the volunteers called the runners. And they'll come in and they'll do this running job. Which is basically going and grabbing a dog out of the kennel and dropping them off in the play group. They'll take them out there with their slip leash. They'll go into the little cat pen. They'll take the leash off. They'll hook the slip leash up to their collar. And they'll let them loose in the play yard. Okay. And then the, they can hang out in there for oh. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, no I just wanted to let you know as we're walking through. Because yeah. we're you new know, volunteers here. Okay. Um, in this kennel, there's... Yeah. Diary all over, and they have it like on the leash. And... Oh, okay. So I just wanted to, yeah. Okay. All right. so I just wanted to let you know. Okay. So. All right. We'll give CP a call here. Okay. So, Thank right. you. Okay. Um, yeah, CP is so good. Let me see. Uh, is that 92? No.
Playgroup. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, playgroup. So they go run around playgroup. And they do their thing, and then uh, the runners bringing them from playgroup back to the camp and put them back in. The and when they and when they take them to playgroup, they'll write like PG and their date. They'll write like you'll see PG four for today. And so those are the dogs that went to playgroup. Okay. That's just how they fill in their dogs. And then there's some other dogs right now. Last, not the last one, but the one before it, but I think it was Lola. The one that was in 107. They've got a different little magnet on there, and those are the ones that are in this foster study. This ASU foster study thing that they're doing, where they're going to, uh, they've measured, they've, animal, they've taken pee samples, urine samples, from the dogs for like three days in a row, and then they're going to have them fostered for a week or two. I'm not sure how long. Anyway, they're going to go foster. They're going to go off the, off the, out of the shelter. They're going, there's a bunch of them, they're going to go into foster. Some of them are going to take them to foster for a And then they're going to move you there. They're going to be doing And they're looking for a stress on the homeless. And the levels of the stress on the Which, obviously, they're going to go down. You <laughs> know? And, and so they're going to study them. So they're going to do two groups of foster dogs where they're doing that. But anyway, so they've got some of them right now in just the last week and maybe for the next week or so. They've got a different little magnet, and so we're not taking those out for walks until they mark off on the back of the kennel that they already collected their piece. In. So they're, they're taking a long stick, and they got a plastic cup on the end of the darn thing. And so if the dog goes out there and squats or lifts his leg, they're trying to catch a little pee, you know. So it's, it's kind of funny watching them do it, you know. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's cool. It's a cool study. Yeah. But uh, So they're doing that first with those dogs, and then and then we take them out for a while. You know? So it's like after 10 o'clock, they're all, they've done all the pee samples collected, and then we can take them out. That's just a wonky little thing right now. Color coats, killer coats. Da, 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 da. So green, you're going to do green and blues. Pinks are going to be stronger blues, but they can be dog reactive. So they could act that. So your dog could want to turn the corner and want to pick a battle with the dog next door. And so that's why I'm telling you to, to have your leash short and, and try to get straight out away from your kennel. As you're going down the, the hallway to have your dog on a, on a short leash to move fast and to keep them as much away from everybody else as you can. So you just kind of get in the habit of doing that. You do that all the time. And that'll help you. That'll do you good for doing these guys. The oranges are basically a pink that could read. They could react to other dogs, but they could also be reactive enough that they might be like, uh, what's he saying? Did you the do that, mister? Did you do that, mister Ziggy? Kind of just a little bit. He tried to do something, you know, and I got my hand out. This is a rare occurrence to see him up well, and around, so I... Yeah, last night he was terrible. He, he wouldn't have done that without him. I barely him. touched him, and he screamed. When I first turned oh him out, gosh. I put a blanket on him, and he screamed. It was quiet. Yeah, yeah everybody was quiet. It was the end of the time. Everybody was, huh. you know, taking their afternoon naps, you know. So, the purple, we've got two in the house right now. And so they've got, they're just a real special little group. And, and they have their own special little behavior characteristics. And we've only got just a small number of people. 